Ketones generally are in equilibrium with a form known as an enol, a name that comes from the fact that this is a combination functional group. It's a combination of an alkene and an alcohol. And it's an example, the most common example, of a phenomenon known as tautomerism. These two isomers are related by a change in the position of the hydrogen and the double bond in the molecule. The hydrogen, I've shown in blue on the left, is removed, and a hydrogen appears on the oxygen. The double bond shifts. So tautomerism is having two isomers that differ in the position of a hydrogen atom and a double bond. It's typical of ketones, aldehydes, even esters, and in general the conversion of one to the other is slow. And furthermore, the equilibrium favors by a large amount the carbonyl compound under normal circumstances. There's simply too little of the enol to be observed by techniques like NMR or IR. So, the conversion from one to the other is slow. Almost all of it is carbonyl compound. Why do we care? Well, we care because the enol plays a critical role in the reaction mechanism of several carbonyl reactions. We need to talk about those reactions because they're important. So we need to understand the conversion of ketones to their enol form and the reverse reaction. The fact that the conversion is slow is an issue, but it turns out this reaction can be much faster by catalysis using acid or base. I want to take a look at the details of the mechanism for those conversions. First, let's look at base catalysis. In the presence of base, the alpha hydrogen of a carbonyl compound is removed. This is a reversible process. Air pushing shows us using a pair of electrons from the base, and this pair of electrons to the proton stays with carbon. We call this structure an enolate, and it has two resonance forms. We picture a pair of electrons here making the double bond, this pair of electrons showing up on oxygen. I like to put resonance structures in brackets to remind us that neither one is exactly what we have. We have something that's a hybrid of all the resonance structures, but in this case, the structure on the right is a stronger contributor because it puts the negative charge on oxygen. In any case, we call this an enolate. Eight is a portion of a name that signifies negative charge, and this structure clearly is related to an enol simply by removing a proton and leaving a negative charge. And that's how this enolate intermediate is transformed into an enol. The oxygen is protonated, regenerating hydroxide, so it's a true catalyst, and forming the enol. So the conversion of a carbonyl compound to the enol under base conditions is a two-step process. First, removal of the proton, and second, addition of the proton at the oxygen. Under basic conditions, the conversion of a carbonyl compound into an enol is much faster. Let's look at the acid-catalyzed tautomerization. Under acid catalysis, the first thing that happens is protonation. So I want to show a pair of electrons on oxygen. That pair of electrons is used to form a bond with a proton of an acid. This makes the conjugate base, A-, and this is an equilibrium process. Again, we formed a species that has two resonance structures. We picture the pi electrons swinging up on oxygen, making an uncharged hydroxyl group and the positive charge on carbon. At this point, we need to put in an alpha hydrogen because we're going to lose that proton to form the enol. The conjugate base of the acid we use generally is pictured as the proton acceptor. So again, we have a true catalytic process because we start with an acid, HA, and we end up with an acid, HA, when this conjugate base is reprotonated. And like basic catalysis, acid catalysis greatly speeds up the transformation of one of these forms into the other. Like basic catalysis, it's a two-step process. I want to remember to put these resonance structures in brackets just to help us keep in mind that they are resonance structures. The first step in this process is protonation. Under basic conditions, the first step is loss of a proton. Under acidic conditions, the first step is a gain of a proton. This protonated carbonyl has two resonance structures, and the positive charge on carbon makes it clear that if we lose an alpha hydrogen, we can directly form the enol. Photomerization, whether it's acid catalyzed or base catalyzed, plays a key role in a number of reactions, both biological and chemical.